What is up, guys? I have 666 HP. Yep. That's not the video. <laughs> that's not That's not the video. But the video is... Uh, how do you, like... How do you, like, complete the campfire badge? Like, how do you make it legendary? How do you upgrade it to legendary? How do you survive that long? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. I found the best way. Like, I've tested a bunch of times. But I found what would be the best way. And well, for me, it's the best way. But I don't know if they might add some other stuff. But it's still kind of expensive to do anyways. So you need a uh, massive armor. Which is pretty hard to make actually. I, I Did I make this? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I unlocked the recipe. But me and my friends, my co-op members, uh, crafted it. Basically, you need growth. Alright. The growth farmer, pretty expensive. You're going to mine a lot of dark oak. You need like, at, I think 25 stacks of enchanted dark oak to craft the whole growth set. And then you need enchanted goat. You need to also be slayer level 4 for wolves. And you also need golden tooth, which is not too bad. Alright, I think it's really the growth armor that like sets people off. Because that's a lot of wood. That is actually a lot of wood. You don't really have to like chop down trees you can just buy from the NPC is much faster if you have add-ons of course but yeah this is the master farmer you put the reforged strong on it and you might be like why strong why strong well look at the full set bonus you gain plus 50 health per 1% crit damage and strong it gives you the most crit damage it's more than uh golly I'm pretty sure and I feel like golly they made it much harder to like Reroll for Godly and strong, yeah, strong, really good. That that's unnecessary. And then you need a sword. Okay, of course you need a sword. You need a sword that has good crit damage. Okay, like the leaping sword, good crit damage. Anything like aspect of the dragons, pigment sword, pigment sword, really good. But yeah, these type of sword, even a leaping sword, silk edge. Yeah, it's pretty good. Look, look at how much health I gained. Like I went from 13k to 19k. That's really good. That's 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 what you need. All right, you need that, and then of course you need you need a radiant orb. You really need that. Just gonna place that. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you a tutorial, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do the campfire thing again because I don't. I don't want to waste more materials. But basically, you need. You also need true protection potion. Okay, true protection potion. Where do you get it? Uh, you go to the jungle island. Well, not Jungle Island, the Birch Island. Let me just go to the Birch thing and show you where it is. You have to go to Howlin Cave and cost 25k for the brewing material, which is not too bad. You can make like three true, true resistance potions, yeah, true protection. So you, you explode it with your exploding TNT, which you get from the deep caverns, of course. And you go there, there's an NPC inside, and you buy the true resistance like material. And you brew it, and then you of course use your enchanted, uh, enchanted glowstone. Yeah, enchanted glowstone, so you can bump it up to like, like, true protection three, which gives you like plus fifteen true protection, which is really helpful during the campfire badge event thingy. You know, not it's not an event. It's like a, it's like a trial. It's a trial. Yeah. And you drink, alright, you don't drink it yet. <laughs> you have to You have to keep in mind you need all the potions, alright. So you also have to make sure your accessory bag, you have a decent amount of like, uh, reforges, like, mostly on Itchy. If you can like, ask your co-op member to like, give you their Itchy talismans, you'll have more health. Because you know what the set does, scales off crit damage. You also need crit uh, crit potions, crit and crit, crit and spirit potions. And how do you get that? Well, Halloween event, you can go to the Fear Mongrel and buy the spirit potion. You can upgrade it also with Enchanted Glowstone. You can also do it with the crit potion. Crit potion is simple. You may use flint. Very simple uh, brewing method. Easy, easy peasy. Yeah, basically that's it. That's That's how you solo it. I would show you a demonstration, but I don't have a true resistance potion. Don't want to spend 25k to do it again. But yeah, basically, you drink those three potions. Make sure, if you have a night vision charm, just 
put in your inventory because like it can like override the other potions, which we don't want that. So you drink those three potions, and then put down the radiant orb, and you stand there with your sword on. Like make sure your health is like, yeah, you swap to the health that gives you like the most. Like right here, nineteen thousand out of thirteen thousand. Well, this this one. It's sometimes bug. Sometimes bug. It's, it's just swap to whichever uh part of your inventory that gives you the most health. And you just basically stand there and just tank it. And if you're like, I'm missing by like a few minutes, all right? Let's say maybe you were, you don't have that much talismans. And maybe your friends don't have much itchy talismans, okay? Well, what do you do? Well, it's a really simple way to do it too. You need zombie heart and you, oh. You're you're not the one that that is gonna wear the zombie heart. Your friend is gonna be the one that's gonna wear the zombie heart. All right, and then they wear the zombie heart. Throw your regen potion and keep throwing healing seven potions because healing seven potions are pretty good. Uh they're cheap to make. Healing seven, pretty cheap to make. Uh, you just need enchanted glistering melon, which you can get by just going to the alchemist. Just buy a bunch of glistening melon and just craft it. It's really simple. But basically, that's that's if you're, you're like off by a few minutes, all right? But I think this setup should be able to get you through it. I got through it. Uh, Yeah, basically, you can buy here. I got through it. I mean, let me show you. I'm at like tier... I'm tier 22. That's why I'm getting like the jungle wood. I, I'll show you proof that I got through it. So basically, if, if this doesn't work... Have someone wear the zombie helmet, uh, throw health potions and regen potions, and you should be enough. There's, it should be enough to like get you through to the legendary talisman, like the campfire. Like, see, uh, I'll just show you right here. Where's my campfire? Uh, accessory bag right here. See, it's it's almost there. XXI. So it's gonna be legendary soon. Once I collect the jungle wood, remember you will need twenty three enchanted jungle wood. I think a little bit more than that. But yeah, 23, around 23. And right now I have two stacks. Yeah, that's basically it. Alright, have fun guys. Peace out.